Hello everyone. My name is Scott Sackett, Senior Vice President of Channel for AvPoint. We are so excited to be participating once again at the Ingram Micro One event. We appreciate everyone spending a little bit of time today to talk about a really interesting topic, securing and creating an M365 and Teams environment for your customers and how that will help eventually promote better adoption. Today, our agenda, we're gonna cover a little bit about AvPoint, who we are for those who may be unfamiliar with us. And then we're gonna deep dive into Microsoft 365 security challenges. Specifically, we'll address things like data loss risk, as well as privacy risk that comes along with Microsoft 365 and Teams. And then we'll introduce the AvPoint solution we call Policies and Insights, or PI for short. And then uh, talk a little bit more about the programs and incentives that you may be able to take advantage of as an Ingram Micro Partner. So, who is AvPoint? AvPoint is a global organization, 25 offices around the world with approximately 1,500 or so employees. We are a five-time Microsoft Partner of the Year, and we are also thrilled to be a strategic partner and part of Modern Workplace Accelerate with Ingram Micro. All of our services, of course, are uh, available through the Ingram Micro Cloud Marketplace as well. Where we really are unique is our portfolio of cloud services that specializes in full data lifecycle management. So what that means is we allow you to move your data from on-premise legacy workloads, things like Exchange and email, uh, file shares, as well as uh, multiple versions of SharePoint on-premise, um, including also cloud-based types of uh, repositories, things like Box and Dropbox, or even Slack, as well as tenant to tenant. We allow you to move those data workloads to the cloud. And then once you're there, we give you things like granular backup and recovery, cloud management, as well as what we will talk a little bit more about today is our secure and monitoring solutions around policies and insights. So let's deep dive right into this. The world today is changing rapidly, as we all know. We're in very interesting times. The concept of modern workplace has taken on new meaning in these last few months around the world. If it made sense prior to COVID to help our customers move to this modern workplace and new way of working, it certainly is even more true today. Digital transformation has become more than the same. As Satya Nadella said way back in April, we're seeing two years of digital transformation in just these last two months. Well, that acceleration has not changed since. As a matter of fact, it's gone even faster. Adoption of M365 and Teams has been incredible. But that adoption definitely comes with its challenges. So what are those challenges that come along with digital transformation? Well, the first one we typically address, of course, is how to actually get your data to the cloud in a safe and secure way. We typically address that with things like migration and our migration solution. But the next ones are what we wanna talk a little bit further about today. Number one, now that your data is in the cloud, how do you actually protect your branded information in M365? It's a delicate balance of evolving your cloud as well as productivity with the regulatory landscape. And secondly, there's a need to evolve your IT demands to meet your business demands. And those are the two we're gonna talk a little bit about today and how that corresponds with risk and your data in the cloud. So the wonderful thing about Teams, of course, is people are getting really excited about it. It's increasing productivity, it's increasing collaboration. But the reality is Teams is really difficult to manage. And you as partners and MSPs understand that your customers are having really large challenges with actually getting to use and adopt Microsoft Teams and the other 365 workloads. So why is it so complex to manage? Well, think about it. There are multiple admin centers for multiple applications and each one of them has different securities and different permissions that you have to focus on. You as an admin or an MSP have to now concentrate on each one of those applications and making sure that you have adequate protocols in place to adequately manage those applications. So even though it's tough to manage, it doesn't mean you get a break on the security requirements. You need to worry about things like who has permission and security access and to what documents do they have access to? Where is sensitive data being stored? How do I validate my collaboration environment is in fact the secure one. What happens if I actually lose data? How do I get it back? And lastly, what about GDPR requirements? Do I actually sufficiently understand how to deal with those in M365? Those are all really tough questions that we're gonna hopefully be able to answer for you today. 
So first, let's talk about the risk associated with data loss in M365. What exactly are SaaS providers like Microsoft covering? And this isn't just Microsoft. This is actually all of the major SaaS providers out there. The reality is the Microsoft SLA calls for really coverage of their service itself and uptime of their service. So for example, if Exchange goes down, they are required to get Exchange back up in a specific period of time. Great. What about the data that sits within Exchange? What about the data center outage that occurs? Those are all the types of SLAs that they actually provide. When it comes to data, they do have a few that they cover, but it's really on a short-term basis, like your recycle bin, but it doesn't include certain aspects that may actually be critical to the data itself. So what is it that the customer or you as the partner is in fact responsible for when you are managing an Office 365 environment? Well, things like departing employees who deactivate an account or malicious insiders or hacktivist activities. How about malware and ransomware or prolonged outages or even long-term accidental deletion? Those are all things that we don't think about every day, but they pose a significant risk to the continuity of our business. And that in fact creates a security risk. And it turns out that not just vendors like us are saying it, but all of the major analysts are telling you that a third party cloud backup solution is necessary. It is actually a requirement they feel for you to have a safe and secure environment and feel good about getting your data back in a timely manner. As an exercise, I always recommend, why don't you call up Microsoft and see how long it will take for them to restore a single document? How will that go? So now let's talk about privacy when it comes to security risk. This is a really interesting topic that we have uh, some incredible conversations with, with our customers and partners around the world. As I mentioned earlier, managing something like Teams is really tough. There's so many teams, sites, groups, ultimately to manage within M365. So my first question regarding security of my data is, where in fact is my source of truth for who has access to what? To all this data that sits in these apps, who can actually now access it? An even better question, Teams versus something like SharePoint Online, it's the same, right? The people who have access to one have access to the other, or is that not the case? An additional concern you need to be thinking about, sharing. Microsoft purposely makes sharing super easy. Of course, they want to enforce and encourage that type of behavior, which is great. But sometimes sharing made easy on purpose can be very risky. So what do we have to think about when it comes to sharing? There are lots of critical choices you make along the way when you share. For example, you get the following options when you actually want to share something. You get that little pop-up that says, hey, do you want people to have access to this who have only anonymous links? That includes external people too. Now that's usually disabled, but if it's not, you have significant risk. Or everyone except external. That's super common in things like migration environments. Implicit permissions for big groups. But who are in these distribution groups anyway? We don't even know. Or explicit people hiding in the wings. Things like broken inheritance then pop up a lot. So now you can even, if you can even assume you understand who has access, you need to now answer, is there anything the user has access to? Does it have sensitive data in there? And have they now accessed that sensitive data? That's a really big challenge with the tools that Microsoft gives you. So for this, we're gonna need better data. So let's start with a typical user scenario we see often and figure out how we can actually determine that risk. So we'll start with an external user. We'll call him Roy, so we identify him. He has access to the team. There's a document in that team that's been accessed 10 different times in the past month and that team contains sensitive information. So in order to determine all of the different metadata associated with this use case and to figure out the risk, we're gonna to need to do a lot of different things and look in a few different places to determine this. So first, to figure out Roy has access to this team, we need to pull a permissions report. And then next, to figure out how often this document has been accessed and in what time frame, we need to create an audit report. And lastly, to 
To figure out if there's actually sensitive data within this document, we need to run a DLP report and pull the sensitivity tags that we've already pre-created. That's a lot of work for such a simple use case. Now, someone with a lot of experience may some, say something like, well, PowerShell experts can get me the permissions reports, but the reality is they don't tell you the whole story. For example, how do I prioritize on that report? Is there any sensitive files in the site itself? Hard to tell from that PowerShell report. Now, sensitivity labels, they'll give me some insight, but you're gonna have to aggregate all those permissions for a better picture. Has that been accessed? And then lastly, you can look at things like the audit activity and see if bad behavior occurred. But that's a lot of different logs. So as you can see, to find who has access to what and understand if there's actually a problem, you're gonna to have to aggregate and compare things like inherited permissions, explicit permissions, reports on external or internal links, then you're going to look at, have to look at sensitive file locations and run things like DLP compliance reports, sensitivity labels, and retention labels. And then to be safe, you're going to need to run that audit report. Boy, that's a lot of work for that one little use case, a lot of reports to pull. This is a very common occurrence in M365 and Teams. We see this all throughout the world. Everybody wants to put sensitive data and really critical data in their new M365 environment, but their MSPs and their admins are not prepared to answer really tough questions on how much risk is this really posing. Avpoint does have a solution for this, and we call it Policies and Insights, or PI for short. So let's revisit the earlier use case, this time with PI. So we start off with our external user, Roy, accessing the team, and having a document that's been accessed 10 times in the last month, and the team contains sensitive information. That with Pi becomes Roy, who's an external user, has accessed confidential information in the last 10 months. Now I can actually restrict his access with a policy that blocks external users from sensitive teams. In addition, we can now grant Roy access to the file, but if he's not supposed to have access, we can revert it and send Sarah, who actually granted the access, a notification to explain why. So not only can we now expose that there's sensitive data and an external user accessing sensitive data, we can reject it and explain and take action on why they can't access it. The bottom line is this. Our new policies and insights solution allows you to automate and scale your team automatically correct out of policy access permissions to documents and workspaces. It allows you to get rid of the noise and focus on what matters most. Prioritize overexposed sensitive content. And lastly, allows you to investigate permissions and create policies that enforce and correct settings to improve business processes. What we're really trying to do is help create a premium security service that helps you differentiate from your competitors easily monitor user activity, permissions, and sensitive content, take action when it matters most to optimize efficiency and business impact, reduce oversight burden with quick, decisive, automated actions in real time, and ultimately prove adoption and risk reduction to the stakeholders at your customers' organizations. So before we wrap up, I wanna mention a few programs and incentives that are actively running today through Ingram Micro that you can all take advantage of. The first thing, if you haven't heard, Avpoint and Ingram are teaming up to provide free migration. Now, you have to buy certain types of M365 SKUs to get access to this, but it's a very minimal threshold with incredible value bundled in. Please take advantage of it and speak to your Ingram Micro representative. This is a tremendous opportunity to accelerate your customers to the cloud and allow you to make unbelievable margins. And lastly, the Avpoint MVP program. This is designed to help sell cloud backup and other Avpoint reoccurring service products, give you incredible quarterly rebates for hitting certain volume thresholds, and even better, we give you MDF, that's right, marketing development funds at the end of every year for hitting certain thresholds to reinvest back into your Microsoft and Avpoint business. It really is a win-win. You make margins, you get rebates, and then you get to invest back into your business to go sell more in the next year. Lastly, I want to thank everyone once again for attending the session. 
Please feel free to reach out to Ingram or Avpoint team to learn more about any of our solutions for M365 and Teams. If you have any questions on policies and insights, please reach out. This is a very hot topic that we think a lot of you guys could bring a really great value to your market and your customers. Please have a great Ingram One Micro Conference and please stay well. Thank you so much.